Hey, so you probably seen my last video where I explained you what we do, how we do it, and how we generate in consistently $30,000 per month with my agency. Now, I don't want you to believe that that's the only way to make money online, right? And you've seen this multiple times in the past, probably. I've been watching the online marketplace in the past three years, watching gurus promising you that there are like a billion ways to make money online and they all promise that their own way of doing things are the best, right? And it causes so much complexity. You don't really know which one to try and you are like all over the place and you try a little bit of that and a little bit of this and, and you just give up, right? That's what I see happening. So I want to put clear water into the glass. So what are the things you can do online? Right? People tell you to go to Upwork and do graphic design, logo design, video editing, stuff like that, right? They work, right? They, they all work. That's at the end of the day. You can do e-commerce, you can do Amazon FBA, you can do drop shipping. To me, what seems logical is really creating some sort of value. And the best way to create value on this marketplace is to sell some sort of high ticket service. What are high ticket services, you might ask? Let me simplify the, you know, chaotic blizzard of noise that's going on the internet right now. Coming to your face telling you that you should try this, that, e-com, Amazon FBA, dropship, yada, 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 right? At the end of the day, what it is all about is finding a problem you can solve to the customer and selling that to them, right? High ticket means it's, it's gonna cost them a lot of money. It's gonna be expensive, AKA you're gonna get paid a fair amount of money for your, for your time investment. It also means that when you charge a lot of money, you're really gonna guide them through the journey. You're really gonna do a lot for them, right? It's kind of like that relationship where you are authorized to perform to the best of your ability, right? Something that I really like. You can do all kind of marketing, sales, lead generation related tasks. You can run email marketing, Facebook ads, YouTube ads. You can do copywriting. They're like so many, you can do uh, landing page optimization, you can build websites, you can do any of them as a service, as a do it for you service and sell that to your ideal customers on a high price point. Now you can also do coaching and consulting, you can literally teach and guide people, mentor people to go through a journey that you've been through. Many people tell me that place is not that easy, I don't, I don't really know how to do that and I often ask them like hey have you ever had a problem in your life when you you really didn't know what to do and you essentially figured it out by testing and learning be maybe paying for other people and you you found a conclusion you found a solution have you ever had that because if you did then chances are you can you can sell that to other people in regards to high ticket coaching and consulting the most lucrative niches are you know health wealth relationships and and all like anything that relatable to this really big mass markets at the end of the day so if you have any skill regarding like how to make money how to be healthier or or how to have better relationships then my friend you have you already have a business idea and a business model and an opportunity to, to sell your high ticket knowledge for other people and help them thrive so why do i preach high ticket services um, i really want you to understand the difference between a high ticket and a low ticket uh, offer online the low ticket is usually not the money made but the money is being made is on the high ticket. So why pick high ticket? First and foremost, you have higher profit, profit margins. And when you have higher profit margins, you can spend more money to acquire the customers in front of your competition, right? You can literally bury your competition. You can wipe the floor with them because you charge more and you deliver more at the end of the day. So you have like a higher margin, you see? Yeah, you can just outspend the competition. You can also have a better team, a smarter team, a more structured, organized team at the end of the day, because guess what? What do you think, who do they want to work for? For you if you sell a high ticket service or someone else who's struggling with the margin? Of course they want to work with you, right? And if you have a better team, at the end of the day, you're gonna do less work. You're also gonna have less competition, because guess what? Anyone can put together a PDF. Anyone, anybody can go online, find some gizmo and, uh, and some gadget and try to like drop ship that. Now I already told you that I believe that almost anyone can sell high ticket services as well, but you still gonna face less competition because a lot of people have a limiting belief around high ticket service, right? And I find this, this is, the, this is one of the most common one. Like we as humans, we just don't believe we can give enough value for, other, for, for one another and we can solve enough problems that's worth the money. That's one of the biggest limiting belief holding a lot of people back from competing with guys like me or, or any other guys that's, that's making money on a high ticket.
it's also easier to less make money with it because at the end of the day you need to sell less quantity and when you sell less quantity that means less complication less fulfillment less messaging less emails less less of the bad stuff really at the end of the day if you need if you only need to be dealing with four clients paying you six thousand dollar per month compared to selling something where you are like selling stuff for like 40 bucks a one-time fee guess which one which business model is going to be more lucrative in longevity and the last one is the best one so when you have high ticket services you're gonna have the best customers ever because guess what they have a really big commitment to you to make this one happen right hence they pay the money because of that they're gonna follow what you teach them they, they're gonna follow what you say there won't be any excuses right they're already committed and because of that they're gonna get great 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 amazing results and you can leverage those results at the end of the day. You're gonna feel more fulfilled, you're gonna feel happier because money is a good thing, but getting happiness out of your partnerships, out of your business relationships, I believe that's, that's kind of underrated nowadays. I think that's the most important thing you can have in business. Because of that, once you say high ticket service and they are like excited about working with you and they are getting great results, they are happy to give you referrals, they are happy to give you testimonials and you, my friend, you can leverage that in your sales process. So at this point, you might ask, all right, Blaze, but like, what do I need to do to sell high ticket services? There are four main building blocks of, you know, building a high ticket service, things you need to acquire, things you need to learn. And if you acquire these, and if you're really good at all of them, you can make, you can make a million dollar business, even a $10 million business. The first one is service delivery. You need to know what is the service, what is your offer, who do you offer that for, and how are you delivering the service? How are you making sure that they get the best results ever? The second one is selling. You need to know how to get the acquisition, like get the eyeballs, get the interactions, and then how to close those deals. Third one is to know how to build a team because essentially as you are as you're building your business, you're gonna get to a point when you cap out, when you can take more sales calls, when you can do more of the group coaching or the one-on-one -on -one coaching and that's a really good problem to have but you need to be prepared for that the way to do that is to know how to hire a team how to manage a team how to coach a team how to build systems and processes they call this team building really the last one and the fourth one is to have the right mindset and to have good habits because what I found is that when I started my journey, my success was really strongly correlating to the amount of knowledge I was gathering. It was all about like what I know. And later, as it was growing, it was more about like the kind of man I am, right? The, the habits I have. Those things are very, very important. So guys, that's what I got for you today. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe. Drop me a like, drop me a comment if you have any question and see you in the next video when I break down the four main pillars one by one and I'm gonna just give you a little bit more context about each and every single one of them. Until next time!